Hey everybody at the Vegetarian Resource Group, I just want to thank y'all first off for offering this wonderful opportunity for us to be able to speak out and for you to provide this um this blessing that uh, all of us have the chance of winning. So today I want to talk about obviously vegetarianism or veganism, which I would like to add that I am vegan, um, and I truly believe that this is the way that human beings were designed to live. We're designed to eat raw sweet fruit and vegetables and that um that's the best way and you can just tell by the way we're made and designed that that was exactly what we were designed to eat now speaking about food nutrition i believe that being a vegan is or a vegetarian is really the best way to get your most amount of calories and macro and micronutrients that you need to be live at the and be the best that you can be um and we can break the signs down, but I just want to keep this pretty like simple. And meaning that, you know, if you eat fruits and veggies, those are healthy for you, right? Your starches, your potatoes, your rice, those things, pasta, those things are healthy for you. And if you eat those, that you're going to live a very productive and meaningful life. Now, my feelings about veganism are that it is really the best way to live your life because any other way, it just contributes to the destruction of the environment and the killing of innocent animals that are being slaughtered for the pleasure of guilty pleasures and vices that the average people have. The water uses in vegetarianism, and I feel like that it takes a lot less water to be able to create and make as much food and nutrition for, to feed the world than it takes for animals that are going to take up so much more space and use up so much more resources. Um, another thing, you know, plants... The byproduct that they produce from creating food is oxygen. They take CO2 and light and they make their food through photosynthesis. Now, the byproduct is oxygen. However, animals' byproduct, when they eat all the fruit, the fruit, fruit or whatever they're fed, vegetables, grass, is methane gas. So it's contributing to the pollution of the environment and the deterioration of the ozone layer. Now, animal rights, I believe the animals should have rights. They shouldn't be just slaughtered. Um, obviously, you know, if you just look at a pig as if it was your own dog, I mean, would you want it to kill it and try to eat it? I mean, people don't think like that or your horse. So if you look at things in that perspective, it really brings you to a deeper realization of the pain and agony that really the animals are going through when they're slaughtered, you know, and treated cruelly in those living conditions like the chickens that are put in to produce eggs and Tyson chicken to produce chicken to feed these people. So they continue to suffer from heart disease, high cholesterol, Obesity, all the different ailments, Crohn's disease, acne, ac eczema, you know, so I could, the list goes on and on and on and on. I mean, think how many hospital beds would be freed up of people if they just cut out cheese and dairy from their diet, right? But I know this is vegetarianism too as well, but I'm vegan, but just those two things. If you just cut those two things out your diet, your fitness, your... Your body will love you so much more, I'm telling you. It's just, there's no other way to put it. Like, seriously, you will feel so much better about yourself. Once I cut out all my animal product in my body and got off caffeine, I'll tell you what, I've never felt better in my life. This is revolutionary. This is the way that people, if you live this way, you will be full of energy. You'll be full of happiness. Your hormones will be acting the way they're supposed to act, and you will just have such a blessed day. So once again, uh, the Vegetarian Resource Group, I want to thank you all for this wonderful opportunity that you're providing these scholarships for us. And it's been a pleasure to be able to share my thoughts and um, opinions with all y'all. And I really appreciate this. So thank you. Take care, everybody. Plant-based plant for life.